One moment, one moment. Stay, stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Ready? We go in circles. Two, three. Hey everyone, my name is Alex. I'm an ex-medical student who sold all his belongings in 2012 to travel around the world. 50 countries and the adventure continues. The reason they're so happy is because we're at a coffee plantation. So caffeine, yes! Greeting, welcome to a coffee plantation tour. And today we're gonna to get caffeinated. Honey, thank you. So welcome to day four of the Indian blood train. Thank you. Oh. I believe this is coffee. I don't usually drink coffee or stimulants or depressants, but today I will try a little bit. Oh, that's coffee all right. I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls. Dude, the only time I ever drink caffeine is when I'm in school and I'm doing final exams and I don't sleep for many days. That's when I use coffee. So today, it's gonna be a very interesting day with caffeine. So every day I travel, I have a set of challenges. And today's challenge is working on the bus and finding places to charge a laptop. A nice charging station for my laptop because I have to work. And that is the unfortunate reality of what I do, is you film, you edit, you post. And unfortunately, that takes a lot of time. Called me ignorant, but I really didn't think India would be a big coffee place. But apparently it is. So now we're walking with a group. I want to go check out what a coffee plantation in India is all about. asking yourself the question, what does 15 bloggers from around the world look like when they take Instagram pictures? Well, everybody finds a very nice background. We all kind of do the same thing and we all help each other out. This is the process of uploading the social media. All right, so here's a little Instagram trick for you is you find a tree that has dead leaves and you shake it and got a bunch of leaves that fall. Great slow motion. So when I always look at Instagram, you always look at the pictures and you're always like, wow, this is some really awesome pictures. How do they get them? Well, a little behind the scenes for you is that this is what it takes. You have a photographer, you gotta pose and you gotta do it. And you gotta try different things over and over again. You got somebody else on this side doing the same thing. We all kind of tend to think alike. Uh, we all kind of see the same shots. And it just takes a little bit of effort to do it. These how's the tour so far? Good, amazing. This is beautiful. Very nice. Beautiful. A coffee. Oh, no. Finally. <laughs> Well, that was our coffee plantation tour. It was interesting, I learned a lot. Let's see what else we find around here. Check it out, we are convinced that Kiki here is like the most photogenic person in this entire place. Cause just look at her. Just, if you look at her Instagram, you're just gonna be like, yep, totally photogenic. <laughs> it is now time for my favorite part of my day, lunchtime. All right, check out our lunch. What a feast, look at this. There's so much. And look at the dessert. All the girls are going gaga for the dessert. Chutney, curry, more chutney, chutney, pashadi. Cook your own uh, pasta Hello. here for you. Hello. Man, we got a lot of options today. Look at this. This is crazy. Needless to say, we have a lot of options today, which is always nice. And we got dessert, which is the best. So another temple, and we got to leave our shoes here again. Welcome to Belgaru Temple. And this is what we're going to check out today. Behind me, very nice. In front of me,
I definitely think the most impressive part of this temple is the fact that everything on the side is hand carved. And that's pretty awesome. But yeah, definitely very impressive. Guess what time it is? No, it's not drone time. It's actually group picture time. And that's what we're gonna do. Usually when I say guess what time it is, it's drone time, but not today. Today's group picture time. How you sick of the little lucky man? Alright, so we got bombarded by everybody trying to take selfies. We had some nice time to ourselves, and now we're on to the next level. Sometimes the best thing about India is not the temples, it's not the sites, it's the people. Because these people were having a class right now and they decided to take a picture with us. You know what, the people, the kids, everybody here in India is definitely the reason why you should come here. Right? India? Good? Good. Acha. 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 Again, some of the friendliest people, nicest, just want to take pictures with you, India. Around the world, this is the place I love to come to meet people because everybody is just so nice and so friendly. So, those kids over there were definitely the highlight of this trip so far. Do yourself a favor and say hello to the local people next time you come decide to visit India. That was our visit to the temple. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, a lot of history. And I'm really amazed at how much time it actually takes to carve by hand all of those sculptures and carvings. We made a really big deal with that because, you know, generations passed until this was actually completed. Anyway, we're gonna check this out and probably make our way back to the train. So we'll see you there. All right, we are now back at the train station. We're gonna have dinner at the beautiful train. Now this is what a normal train looks like and I'll show you exactly what it is inside. So you can have a comparison of what it's all about. Yeah, so this is a train in India, as you can see. So by comparison, you can see that, yeah, ours is very, very luxurious. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, we got a little bit of henna going on back there. The henna is the thing that women do, not guys. So a lot of Westerners, they actually put it on their skin, they try it out. But it's actually meant for the women, so I don't think I'll be doing it. All right, we had dinner. It was amazing, and uh, we're probably all going to relax, go to bed, and have a great adventure tomorrow. So, thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow. <laughs>